The engineering process is faster and cheaper than ever before. For example, rapid prototyping with the Arduino ecosystem allows you to quickly prove out an embedded system concept. Thanks to 3D printing, you can have a part in your hand the same day you designed it. The resulting tangible objects can be used to verify a critical functionality, be part of a user test, or convey a design intent. Is there such a thing then as too much rapid prototyping? We think there is. Although we love rapid prototyping, we feel like engineering analysis can sometimes save you even more time and money than rapid prototyping. Let me give you a concrete example from a company where I previously worked that took a different approach. We were designing an easel with four legs for whiteboard. We needed to know what the maximum writing force on the top of the whiteboard could be before the easel would tip over. Two approaches were taken in parallel. Since they had a strong culture of prototyping, the machine shop immediately went to work on the geometry and the materials of the easel. They used the force gauge to measure the force at the top of the whiteboard. After about one week, they had their result. I took the do the math approach using statics to calculate the applied force. Generally, this structure is statically indeterminate. That is, there are more unknowns than equilibrium equations. However, at the tipping point, the force on the front two legs goes to zero. This allows us to calculate the applied force by summing the moments about the z-axis. The results of the prototyping and of the calculations were about the same, yet the calculations took only one hour to complete. Engineering skills are still important in the world of rapid prototyping. Simple hand calculations can be useful in determining the size and strength of parts or form the basis for a simple electrical circuit. To truly be agile in product development, we believe that we need to balance making with engineering. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to simplexitypd.com. Thanks for watching.